Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony G1 here. Now I know I haven't made a video in a pretty long time, but uh, I felt like this video needed to be made. And uh, this is related to the Resistance Liberation video and how I showed you guys how to install this game. Now a lot of people still have problems with the uh, game and how to install it and stuff. So today I'm going to try to fix those problems or just to show you guys what you need to do step by step to actually get this game to work. Now I just reinstalled this game today. It still works perfectly fine. So if you just follow my steps, you'll get this game working fine. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to have this video linked to my original Resistance Liberation installation video so you guys can watch this. So make sure you watch this instead of my old one. The old one still works, but this one might have more information than that one. So make sure you watch this one because it's more updated. So anyway, so just so you guys know, first off, this game still hasn't been, you know, touched in many years. Uh, their latest, you know, news update was in July 30, 2011. So pretty sure they dropped this, but I did see in their forums that a couple of developers I'm thinking from the original Resistance Liberation developers are still are uh, actually still trying to work on this game and what they're actually trying to do is get the game to have the cry engine in it. They're actually really cool and they still have uh, some screenshots to show so you guys can check that out if you go on their forums. But anyway, so that's sort of their update. But anyway, so today I'm going to show you how to install it step by step and i telling you today I reinstalled this today using my steps and it worked perfectly fine. So first thing you want to go to do is go to downloads. And then go to full downloads, and then you have all these links. Now the best one to use is the Resistance Liberation Open Beta 1.6 full installer mod DB. Now before you do this, make sure you have Steam open. Let's click out of that. Obviously open and installed. Now, uh, so I'll just leave a link in the description down below if you don't know what Steam is. It's just basically like you know, it's, it's like a I don't know how to explain Steam, but most people know what Steam is. Anyway, so it's free. Steam is free, and you need this in order to play Resistance Liberation. So install Steam, install it, and have it opened right now. You can go to your game library or whatever, just make sure it's opened. And then go to Download Now, in the same link I showed you, and it'll bring it to ModDB. That's where you can download it. So go to Mirrors and go to Download Now. Or if you use Tezera, then use it with Tezera. But oh, you can just get the full direct download right here. This button right here. It's about a one gigabyte download, but it won't take long. Once you finally do that, you just run it, run the installer, and start installing all these files all for you. But make sure you need to have source, I mean, sorry, you need to have Steam opened in order for them to do that because they need to know where to install it and it'll install it to Steam. If you don't have Steam installed or if you don't even have it opened, then it won't know, know, it won't know where to install it. So make sure you have Steam opened, installed, and all set, and then you download Resistance Liberation, the installer, and then it'll install for you. After you do that, uh, you need to restart Steam, so you know just exit out of it, reopen it, and it'll show up in your game library. But it'll, right off the bat, it won't work. So when you click play, it won't, nothing will happen. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, first of all, if you need to install Source SDK 2007. So in order to do that, it's free download. You can download it right into Steam. You just go up here to All Games, go to Tools, scroll down, and you'll find the three Source Source SDK uh, links. And the most recent run you need to download is Source SDK Base 2007. That's when you need to actually run uh, <clears throat> Resistance Liberation. Now, a lot of people say, like, oh, you can just have TForge 2 install, whatever. That does work, but it doesn't necessarily work all the time. And it didn't work for me, and I do have TForge 2 installed. So just have Source SDK Base 2007 installed. You have to, basically, if it doesn't work for you. Um, so let's install this. It's only like a one gigabyte download as well as the game, so it should install pretty quick. Download this. Make sure it's 2007. I don't know if it works in 2006, but make sure it's 2007. Once you do that, go back to all games, and then click Resistance Liberation. Click play, and it should work. So as I said, as I said before in this video, I did this today. It works perfectly fine using those steps. Um, so yeah, so. Basically, letting you guys know that it still works, game still works, still, you know, it's kind of active. I was playing on a server and had a good amount of people, so but as you can see, that it's still pretty active um, and it works. So, hope that helped you guys, hope that helped out with any problems you had. So, the steps you need to do is install Steam, have it opened, and then go to this link, download it, run the full installer, and then once it's in Steam, once it shows up in your Steam library, restart Steam. And then it'll still be in your library, and then you have to do is go to Tools, Download Source SDK Base 2007, make sure it's 2007, go back to Games, and then click Play, and you're all set. So, as I said, hope that helps, and if you guys have any more questions, I'll try my best to, you know, 
answer them in the comment section down below, but I don't know that much about this game or any, like, you know, troubleshooting issues, so. Uh, or if you have any more issues, you can still go to their community forum. It's still pretty active, actually. I'll show you really quick. Uh, here, yep, see. So their forum is actually pretty active. You know, recent post was from this month. You know, a few days old, but it's still pretty active. So if you have any, you know, other issues that I can't help you with, go to their forum. They can most likely help you out. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time.